This is a GPS module. In a previous video, I did show you how to get the GPS information using an ESP32 board. In this video, I'm going to show you how to read the GPS information using the USB port and connecting it to a regular PC. We're going to use the GPS software and a terminal software. In addition to that, I'm going to answer one of my viewers' question, which is how to get the signal from the PPS timer pin using an Arduino. So let's get started. First, let me start with answering one of my viewers' question, which is how to read the signal from the PPS pin. A quick definition here, the PPS pin on a GPS module stand for pulse per second pin which outputs a signal that generates a pulse exactly once every second. So it generates a pulse exactly once every second, essentially providing a highly accurate time reference for synchronizing other devices with the GPS receiver internal clock. That is the intention for the PPS pin. As far as the wiring, it's really simple. So here I'm using pin two on the Arduino. So the PPS pin on the GPS module is going to go to the Arduino pin D2. And then, of course, you need to connect the VCC to 5 volt and the ground to ground. The rest of it is really easy. And, of course, I will leave a link to the code uh, for free. You can get it on my GitHub. I will leave that in the description. Uh, here we are starting with uh, a zero for uh, the timestamp, but then here in the setup, we are uh, calling the function. This is the main function that is uh, reading. And then obviously we're setting the pin mode here and we're enabling the internal uh, pin for the resistor. This is the uh, loop and we are just printing or outputting the reading to the uh, serial monitor right now. Obviously you can output this to a screen or however you like it. I'll leave the code in the description. Um, you can see here that the reading is happening every second and it's output to the serial monitor right there. And you can see there's just a second increment. I just connected my GPS module to my PC using the micro USB port. And you need to go under the device manager and you should see it over here under the ports section. So you can see if I expand this, this USB serial device, COM4, this is what I'm looking for here. And this is how I know my GPS module is connected and being recognized by my PC. What I'm really interested in in this COM4, because this is what we're going to use to have our GPS software uh, recognize it and connect to it. Uh, also, uh, in our terminal software, this is what we're going to specify. Um, it will also show here under the USB, so under the human interface device, it should show up in this list, but we're not really interested in this. That's not going to matter much. What we really need is this port and this COM4, which will come in play in the next piece that we're going to look at, which is the GPS software. This is the GPS software I'm using. It's called uCenter. Uh, of course, I will leave a link in the description if you want to download this for yourself. Uh, really quick, let me show you how you can connect the GPS module to it. So there are two selections you have to make after you install the software and connect your GPS module to your PC via USB. Um, first, you would have to go under this first dropdown, which is to connect the serial port, and that is our COM4 the one we saw in the device manager. You can see right now I have it disconnected, but if I click on this COM4 and select it, then it will start to display the reading from my GPS module. Uh, the second piece that I need to do is uh, to get this, uh, the baud rate selected for my uh, GPS module. Uh, for the one I'm using, the Neo uh, 6M, it is the 9600, and you can see that is already selected, and mine is working just fine. So you would have to download the software, connect the GPS module via the USB cable, and then get the right COM port selected and the correct 
uh, a bond band uh, or bond rate right here selected. So that's it for the uh, for the software. Now I'm going to show you how you can use the terminal like a putty or a terminal software to get the reading as well. So let's look at that. So I just opened up a putty, which again, I will show you how you can download this in a second. I will leave a link in the description of the video as well. It is free. And what you need to do here is to switch it to serial. Then you would need to change that COM here under the serial line. Remember mine was COM4. We saw that on the device manager. So I'm gonna just type in four over here. And then under the speed, I'm gonna leave that 9600 because this is the default for my GPS module. You might need to change this depending on which GPS module you're using. I will leave a link to the one that I'm using in the description as well. Now you have this setting selected and you have the COM correctly and the correct speed. All you have to do is click open and that will show you a terminal window with the GPS information. So that should do the reading, assuming your GPS is connected and it does have a reading. The LED on the GPS module should be blinking, meaning it already receiving signal from the satellite or from one of those nearby uh, signals. So that, that might depend on the location. You might need to take it outside, keep that in mind. Now let me just show you how you can download these softwares and then we wrap it up for this video. The last thing I want to show you here is how to download the software. Of course, I will leave all of the links in the description, but this is the U Center GPS software, and I downloaded it from here by clicking this download button. I am using a Windows PC, so if you're using a Linux or a Mac, that might be a little bit different for you, but I will leave a link in the description so you can uh, get the right version of the software for your operating system. The other one is the PuTTY or the terminal basically. So I used PuTTY, you can use a different terminal software if you want. Uh, this one is free and it's a very popular. So uh, I will also leave a link in the description. And again, for Windows, I used the 64-bit uh, version and I downloaded it from here. But there are uh, versions for Linux and Mac. You can uh, also figure that out. Uh, this is it for this video. I will leave it here. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.